Ahoj, krásné studentky a krásní studenti. Uh, today I would like to answer the following question. Why after the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 in Czech, the counted noun is in the nominative case and from 5 to infinity and for zero there is this twist into the genitive. Why? Back in the forest I didn't have this knowledge so I needed to do some research and I have found um, principally uh, two reasons. One grammatical and the other historical or historical practical. Let's start with the grammatical. It's all because of the grammatical nature of the number. So we need to determine into which category of the part of speech this uh, number or numeral really belongs to. Is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it a verb? What is it? Cardinal numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are classified as adjectives. If I say uh, 4 chlapci, 1 žena, uh, 2 jablka, the numbers are adjectives. And as adjectives and nouns should agree in case, number, and sometimes gender, they are both in the nominative case. Why did I say they agree sometimes in gender? Because some numerals have gender. Jedna žena, jeden muž, jedno dítě. Others don't. Čtyři muži, čtyři ženy, čtyři děvčata. No gender, really. Few examples. Jeden muž odešel. Jedna žena odešla. Jedno děvče odešlo. Everything agrees. Čtyři muži odešli. Čtyři ženy odešly. I, i. It's normal. Ženy, it requires the y. Muži, it requires the, the soft i. Čtyři děvčata odešla or the part of speech agree together. Now, cardinals from five to infinity and for zero are classified as substantiva or nouns. Therefore, in the expression pět banánů or pět chlapců, the number pět is classified as a governing compositional noun and the numbered persons, or it could be also objects, banánů, mužů, chlapců, are considered as incongruous adjectives. And for this situation, the adjectives will be in the genitive case. So this is the why of the twist, because simply the number changes from uh, being an adjective for 1, 2, 3, 4, and becomes a noun, 5, 6, 7, 8, and higher, and 0. But it gets even worse because any following verb, if there is any in the sentence, will be in the neutral singular. Few examples. Čtyři chlapci šli ven. Čtyři chlapci, perfect. We have čtyři, 
which is an adjective. We have chlapci, which is the noun. Šli, this is the verb. And since they are four, it's in plural, third person. This is logical to me. Pět chlapců šlo ven. So now we have five boys going outside. And instead of keeping the things as they were, I will now use the neuter singular to describe the situation instead of using the masculine plural because there are five boys. It really puzzles me. Not when I talk because I talk without thinking. You have surely noticed. But when I think of the grammatical structure it's because the piet is absolutely not treated as five nouns, as a collective. It's treated as a singular, which is the noun. And the chlapcu isn't treated as a numbered object, as a noun, it's treated as an adjective. Frankly, I'm surprised not because I'm seeing this for the first time, but because I am starting to think about this for the first time. I was using it mechanically. I was just applying the norm. So we have pět chlapců šlo, pět žen zpívalo, pět děvčat tančilo. Well, for you maybe it's more simple. Because you, for all genders, you will just put o, 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 done deal, finish. And now a few words about the historical, practical, technical, or mathematical reasons. Imagine you spare your money into a big pig. You put your uh, notes and you have 400 already. Well, it's okay, 400. But when you reach 500, Suddenly, psychologically, you start to think, well, I'm doing really well because I have now half of a thousand already. It's like a threshold which has been reached. So maybe this is why the language and the grammar are treated or needed, thought that it's necessary to treat higher numbers differently in the speech, maybe. Is it just an assumption? And now uh, practical reasons, it's another of my assumptions. Imagine you have bare hands, no bag, no basket, no dress, you are naked. And you need for your survival to bring to your cave apples which you have found. So you, you catch, you grab these four apples, it's possible. But imagine you need to carry five apples. It will become kind of uncomfortable. Or you have these beautiful mm, labor horses and you need to lead them to the market. So if you have four of them, it's okay. Two by two. If you have five, I don't believe it's technically possible it will be uncomfortable for the three horses to be led by one hand. Five becomes a difficult number. So you will need to have a stable boy or someone to help you. Same if you are a farmer. Well, not in Switzerland, because in Switzerland the cows are. But let's say Czech cows. It's possible, if you have experience, if the cows are not too wild, it's possible to lead or kind of chase or usher four cows somewhere. When there are five, it becomes a little bit difficult because there must be a very good cow leader because you need to close the fire, you need to be behind. So if you don't have a good cow leader, then if you have five cows, they will 
probably scatter more easily. I'm not talking from experience. Well, I might try when I'm in Czech Republic. But uh, so maybe these are the technical or historical reasons. Yes, historical it would be how the language was evolving, that uh, it would treat uh, the higher numbers uh, differently in the speech than the lower numbers. But why they are treating differently zero, I don't know. Just a last word, there is no unity among the Czech uh, grammaticians as to where exactly belong all the numerals. So there are some numerals which belong logically into the uh, category of numerals. But others will be classified as adjectives and others might be classified as adverbs or I don't know. What I have understood from the sources which I will link under the lesson, there is no unity already. And as for the same sentence, Piet hab zu schlo, apparently it's a very famous sentence and an apple of discord among the Czech eminent grammaticians. And you know what? I would be extremely interested and grateful if you asked um, maybe your teachers or just friends in the Czech Republic, just casually like this, why there is this twist and what's really happening and what are the deep reasons? Because I would really like to know, to, to go to the bottom of this question. I personally don't really feel satisfied because it describes the situation okay, so there is this change of um, classification, but it doesn't say really why the deep, deep why. You know what I mean? Na závěr, krásné studentky a krásní studenti, mějte si krásně. Přeji vám krásné léto, plno slunce. A Brzy nás